Well, good day, everyone, and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today I have a kit it up video. So I decided to kit up this particular diamond painting with the season coming just around the corner. As I've unboxed recently, it's the Merry Christmas with these three cute little guys. So I've got my container ready to go. I've got to just update this a little bit. I've got my drills and of course I have my canvas and isn't it gorgeous? I love these three little guys. So with Christmas not too far away, unfortunately if you're not ready for it, it's still coming. Um, I decided I might start working on this particular piece because I'd really love to have this up for the festive season. So this is a 3430 I unboxed recently from Everyday eCrafts. So I'm going to give a... I haven't used this company before. I want to just check out the diamond paintings. They do look really good. So I just want to work with the actual drills and be able to give you some feedback about that as well. So that is where I am up to. I have this container which I do like using as well for small diamond paintings, full drills. I often use these little um, types of containers. There is four in each slot so they're single use, single drills but four to each bar I suppose. We'll use, it, use that terminology. So there we have, this is um, 20 Eight, I think it can hold yeah 28 these ones can hold so that's pretty good I won't need that many I only need 20 because I've only got 20 colors so I have got numbers 1 to 20 and I'll be kitting up like so and that way when I'm working on my diamond painting I just look at number one is H and I do all the H's and so on and so forth so that's that and then I just have all my stickers on there and they just get reused. I don't have to peel them off and change all my symbols, etc. like I was doing. This saves me a bit of time. Don't mind my little hoard of blue wax sitting there. I also put on the front of this sticker here, which I use in grey lead. And as you can see, I've had it as a previous um, kit up slash progress to complete video of the sunflowers. So I can just erase that straight off there because I just used grey lead on that sticker. That's good enough basically. And then I can write on top now Merry Christmas. The size which was 30 by 30. And I like to put the company every day e craft. I don't think that's going to fit very well, but it's good enough for me. And I really can't hold that pen very well either. So it's very scrawly, but that's good enough for me to identify. If I sat there and tried, I could probably do a bit neater. But it's just for quick variations. So you can do that if you wish in your diamond paintings, just to label the kit you're using if you do like I do and have more than one thing running at the time. I have tried to take, because I also label my drills when I put them away in the same sort of thing, um, but I use a permanent marker because um, it's nice and clear to read, but um, I very often can't get this sticker to come off. Depends how long it's been sitting there. This one might actually come up, but yeah, sometimes they stick to the plastic. So sometimes I can just reuse that one, you know, and you can I've stuck them up there before, whatever. You can do it that way too. Sometimes I can get them off there, but I leave this one here because I can in the grey lead so I can just write something on there. All right. So I've prepared the containers. I have my canvas to read the symbol off if I wanted to, but that's more the fact just for when you're working on it. So the canvas can go back up there because I just need to know one, two, three, four, etc., and so on till 20. 
and these drills have exactly that on them so it has the number one so I know number one goes in number one of my container and it's as simple as that it's a nice long ribbon of colors for my little 30 by 30 so I will simply take my container with a number one written on it I will separate my bags off the ribbon that went a very long way right so I know it's number one I'm just going to open that up it's not a lot of drills in this particular packet and I can just pour them straight in hopefully with a little encouragement into the container and that's that simple kitting up let's have a oh, my, my squeaky chair every time I move to I probably can hear that in the background all right so we'll go just there so we'll go through that little process just a little bit closer so number two bag oops, bag number two as we see and they have the pro um the product number to your canvas so if you want to just check your drills you can always check that to your product number just on top there it should be the same if you get things mixed up it always happens sometimes especially if you have plenty of diamond paintings so they are going to pour nicely into that container Some of these colors like the 20 will definitely not fit in a single container I will just um, put what I can of it into the 20 and I'll leave these extra bags so I'll put that into that one but the extra bags I can just sit into this gap here so I keep everything together and use them as I go or Sometimes, I, even if I have just, um, a, you know, for the, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, sometimes when I have an empty blanks spaces, I can sometimes pour them all into those. So I have like four, but it's all the one color. Depends on my mood, I suppose, or how I feel like doing it. That's very bright, isn't it? Hmm. This ribbon is super long and hard to wrangle. I've got things all upside down here. Tell you what, I'm going up to number 10 at the moment and I'm just going to snip it there so I don't have quite so much to deal with. I'm going to snip number 4 and put that one into it's a little posy I think this will be a very fun um, little piece actually I think it's gonna be quite enjoyable a lot of color blocking for that background color which is number 20 and that's going to take quite a bit of um, containers yeah it's a system that works sometimes But every, everyone's different and uh, you, you, do, you do you, that's what I say, you do you because what works for you is what you should do. These, uh, I have changed the way I've kitted up. Um, differently now, a little bit, especially with the number system, I, that's, that's definitely changed. I find that's really easy. So, and that works, and I've got my head around it all. So, that's what counts. 
It's a hair. Go away. Where did you come from? So I've got five, six, seven, and eight. Oopsie doodle. Where am I? So I'm going to go back out a bit more because I came in close before and I'm doing things, but there's a lot going on here. I think a little bit more space would be better. Okay, so we got up to number five. This is quite a decent mount in number five, actually. It's a light grey colour. Ooh, how are we going to go? Are we going to fit? Uh, no. Okay, so when I'm obviously not going to fit, I'll just get a zip bag and fill out so the rest. So now in this situation where I had too much in there just a moment ago, so I've actually gone and got some little zippy bags and I've taken a bit out of this container, as you can see, and I've added to the zippy bag. So I've got quite enough in there for me to use on the dome painting for now. And what I will do is I will put everything into this little zippy bag I had. This is where the zip bags come handy from the kits. These are some smaller, a little bit smaller than the ones you find in kits that I already owned. So I'm just using them up. I've got quite a few from um, my jewellery days still floating around the place. So these ones were the ones I didn't really like very much to put my uh, finished jewellery little trinkets in, so to speak, because of how they don't, you know, the, I don't know, they're just a different plastic. They're not a great lock on them and stuff like that. Like this one is terrible. And you'd get that someone went shut like that one is doing. So that's why I didn't really use these ones for that. So I'm just going to transfer it over to another one, see if that's any better, because that zip bag it does not want to lock. And this is time where you might lose some time doing this thing. That one's fine. That one was trash. Goodbye. All right. So in this situation where I'm adding that to a little zip bag, just because I don't have enough because of the size of my container, you may not have this issue because your container will probably be, might be bigger and your whole lot of your diamond diamonds will fit in your container and you're all good to go. Or you might just go straight to zip bags, whatever you do. That's all good too. So in this event, for me, I will just snip out the number five off that piece of packaging because I don't need it the packaging as such. I just need identifying this drill. So it's still got the oh, diamond painting canvas number, but it's also got number five, so I know which one it is for just in case. I don't know. And that will just plonk in there. Number six, moving right along. Dunk. And I'll add six. Plenty of space for that one. That was no problem. So there we go, number seven. So I'm thinking this one, this video, oh, this video, this diamond painting, I should say. Golly gosh. I'm tired today. I shouldn't probably even try to do what I'm doing. I just want to. <laughs> I worked very late last night and then I couldn't sleep and I was up to hours and oh boy. Trying to too much stuff going through your mind, you know. Oh, this would be a good idea, Del. What about this? What about that? Yeah. So late to get to bed, to, but I still want to do this so I'm doing it so probably why I'm making a few little blunders along the way but that is life now where was I number nine oh okay there it is I think I know I cut up to ten a second ago I know I'm tired but I knew I got up to at least number ten I got that far so I'm thinking this uh, diamond painting that I'm kidding up now for everyday e-crafts of doing a progress video um, and then do a kit down as well with um, yeah this is a bit of a review of how it went basically 
how the diamonds go, how the glue go. What does it look like when it's all um, drilled up? Basically, it's a really interesting thing that you don't get to see when you're purchasing um, diamond paintings is what they look like when they are completed. And I think that's something that is good to be able to do because you know then if you would like that diamond painting. Otherwise, sometimes it's a bit of a guesswork hope and hopes that yep, that should turn out all right. Most times they do. But it's just nice to actually... Oh my goodness, why is it so tangled? Um, yeah, it's just nice to actually have that, I think. And even just the unboxings, I like those because you can see the canvas so you get a really good idea of what they look like. I'm just going to separate all these guys up so we can put them through as well. I'm just going to leave all my 20s over there. Holy gosh, everything's getting mixed up here. Why is it getting... Oh, I'm just I'm being untidy today. Do -do 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 -do. Alrighty, so let's get things in order again. Um, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14... 13, 12, 11. Okay, so I'm just going to count them all backwards so that they're in the right order. Got to check out the order. Wow, look at that green. That's pretty, isn't it? It's only a little bit in the diamond painting of that green. Very little bit. But it's in there. Eleven. Oh, what are you doing? There you go. He was having a moment, wasn't he? Twelve. Nice corally. Oh, sort of a coral pink. It's brighter than that, isn't it? Twelve. We're near, Well, we're just passing the halfway point, aren't we? Lucky thirteen. Good old thirteen. What's that? A sort of a brown colours. Hmm. It's interesting colours actually in this diamond painting. A good mix. Good variety of different things. Little bits, but good variety on them. So I'm, I'm hoping that's going to help with the characteristics of it all. So I suppose we'll have uh, maybe like the question of the day is going to be what are you working on? Are you working on something for Christmas? Maybe a gift? Something for yourself? So, would, if you'd like to share what you're working on, feel free to do so in the comments below. It's always interesting to know, share what we are on at the moment so other than one I'm kitting up right now to work on I have a few going as I always seem to do but I really am looking forward to working on a couple of these 30 by 30 style size canvases I'm in the mood for the little snackies. That's for sure. I'm pretty keen. Wow, that's bright. I wouldn't have thought there was so much of that color around, but apparently there is. It's a very bright pink. 19 so that is pretty much all of our small colors now shoo all those in there so i've only had to zip bag one. Oh my goodness why did i didn't cut that properly 
Good one, Dale. Right. Sorry, I stopped because I could smell something. All right, so this is the background color. I will fill that one up for now. And I might get a bigger zip bag again and just fill the leftovers into here if they will fit. Shake, shake. Shake your booty. Radio. So that container, although I'll probably remember because I've got that sitting there, but. And I'll smash through some of this really quickly, so um, that background, I reckon. I don't have to cut that neat, it's only for my purposes. And that's good because I did not cut that very neat. Stuff it in there, should be right. As I say, this is for your own referencing, so you don't need to have it super duper tidy. You like, it's just as what works for you. Okie dokie. So I've got my spare zippy zip bags. I've got more background color that can sit hopefully in there. So that's pretty much all done. All my drills are in their designated numbered container. And they are looking pretty bright and happy and festive and <laughs> so this will be great really really great I think and that's done lock and loaded ready to go do da and then I have a big pile of empties <laughs> let's not keep putting them everywhere put the I'll have to clean up my mess, but that's okay. I am ready to go with this beautiful 30 by 30 I'm really keen for. It's really cute image. I really like these little guys. I, Yeah, I know, they appeal. My 20 colors, my labels, I'm ready to go. So anyway, oh, there you go. Um, I hope you enjoy the little kitting up video of dime painting I'm going to choose to do a progress to complete with um, review so to speak in the near future with once it's sort of done I don't know I don't put a time limit too much but I do try to get them done uh, fairly quickly um, you know life goes on and it's busy so yeah this is my hobby and my downtime so I do it when I get my free time and do it to enjoyment so that's just how it is uh, and of course we should we should we should so um, so yeah I will make a progress to complete video in the near future of after this um, I'm sorry kidding up has been posted I will try to put a bit of a time limit on when it gets up and done, you know, especially with the theme of the diamond painting. But I'm not going to put like a date or anything on it, but yes, it will come up very soon, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be having a lot of fun working it up, but yeah. Until then. Um, I will say thank you very much for watching please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video and like to see more I have much much more unboxings and videos of kitting up and progress to complete reviews I will be posting in the near future so stay tuned for that from much much many many different companies I suppose that I like to try out so in that case I'd also like to thank Everyday E Crafts for supplying this canvas for this video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, be your life beautiful with diamond art. This is Dal signing out. Have a great day. Be safe and well and I'll see you soon again.
Goodbye, my friends.